Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the replay feature in the flight simulator. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to be teaching you how to use it because it can be pretty daunting for some. Uh, but I'm going to teach you how to fully use the um, the replay feature. A full tutorial. Uh, I'll go into depth into all of the features and hopefully by the end of this video you will be replaying and recording your flights in no time. So, first thing you're going to want to do if you want to get started with the replay feature is go into your settings, go to general options and go to the experimental tab. Here you can turn on replay tool right here. Uh, so once you apply and save and go back, you're going to find the replay tool right here. So you get this open and now you have all of these buttons, right? So today we're going to be recording a landing. I'm in San Francisco, San Diego right now. And we're gonna I'm going to be landing this uh, 737. That's what I'm going to be replaying. Okay, so just start your recording. That's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to start re your recording every time right you click this button right here so once it's recording your flight um, you go ahead and do the flight do the landing right and then once you're done then you can click this button and then you'll you're able to re control it go to different spots in the timeline things like that alright so first I'm gonna have to do the landing I'll be right back with you guys once I'm finished and by the way, once once you have it recording, you can close out of the tab, minimize it, do whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Now we just know that it is recording. All right, see you guys in a second. Alrighty, guys. So I have gone ahead and landed here in San Francisco, so not San Diego. Um, now I'm I'm gonna be able to show you how to use the replay feature. So we can open up our re replay tab again right here and what we can do is we can click on this button to end our recording we don't want to replay anything farther than this so there we go now that it's done we can click on the play button and it starts us basically in the beginning uh, where we originally were so if we continue to play this through we can drag it along to different points drag it along to the different points of the flight and this works if you just want to be in the same spot, but you cannot move your camera. You are basically confined to the location that you have been throughout the entire landing, right? So this is just the con to control the timeline. So let's say I want to start replaying at right before touchdown. So let's let's maybe start replaying right here. Okay, so now the timeline is paused, we can click on this one, camera track recording. And with this, we're able to move and change our camera. The only thing with this is now we cannot go back or forward in the timeline. So once you have the time you want to start replaying, uh, go to that time in the timeline controls. Then pause it and click on camera track recording and start recording that. Now with that, we can start to see the outside, and we can watch the replay as we come into land here. So let's go ahead and do just that.
Alrighty guys, so now you just saw how the replay feature works, how you're able to go to the time you want, and then you're able to record that, and, uh, you know, see the replay of your landing, or whatever you want to record. So, if you would like to see the landing again, maybe you want to watch it from a different angle. We finish the camera track recording, we go back in our timeline, Maybe wanna, we want to go back right here, right? And then, now that it's paused, we can click on the camera track recording. And now we can move around and see different angles. So let's go through all of our, uh, our cameras here. Let's watch the landing from this angle now. So to do that, we just unpause the timeline controls. And we can even minimize it if we want to. Alrighty guys, so with that, I'm pretty sure you guys will understand now how the actual replay feature works. So, we stop the camera track recording, go back to the time we want to start recording from, click camera track recording, unpause the timeline, and it just starts recording for us what we want to see. So like this, now we can start to watch the approach. So that is pretty much the entire replay feature. If you want to stop this, then you can click uh, that button. Uh, that's not really important though. And you can even set up different tracks, different points of view that you'd like to, to watch your landings from in here. You can add different spots in your timeline which you want to record. Like maybe we wanna we wanna see the we 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 wanna bookmark this part where we're about to land. Add one right there, and it's easily rememberable where that is. You can also name your landing. Like we can call it landing. We can call it in here. Landing in San. Diego, right? Uh, we can also save that as a file if you want to come back to it. You can call it San Diego Landing. So then, eventually, you can just reload it up and watch your uh, your landing again. So very very good la la replay feature. A lot of functions. You can even set the location of your sequence, so you want to record. Oh, that's not good. And it, it basically lets you control the plane yourself once you click on that, which is obviously why we nosedived into the ground. So save, save as, load. You can load your different replays. We now have it as a file. We can show or hide the replay UI. And that is pretty much it for the replay feature. So, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.